Over the last two decades, the United Arab Emirates has become a real global hub for golf in the world. It has some of the best events and it has some of the best coaches. These five guys wouldn't have become the coaches they are today without help from others in the industry. Here they share some stories of how they first came over here and who they've learned from the most. Moving on to the most memorable characters you've worked with over the years. You guys must have um, seen, <laughs> worked, and learned from some of the best names and uh, biggest influences in your career. Can you, uh, can you tell us about any of them, Jamie? I suppose I've, I've been lucky enough to have probably three of the, the bigger personalities that you could possibly have in golf. I think Butch, Claude and, uh, and JP are definitely you know, three of the biggest ones that I've been lucky enough to work under um, and work alongside for, for the last seven years. Uh, my first experience at Butch was actually as a, as a kid, I was lucky enough to get, get some coaching off him and his brothers um, way back when. And then coincidentally, I ended up starting with him in, uh, in Dubai seven years ago. And I think uh, the information that they've given me, the access, it's been phenomenal. And I think, uh, you know, to work under JP for five years was, was second to none. And, and as far as guys that, that I've had the, the pleasure of working alongside and working with, I think he would always stand out as, as a, a key figure in my, uh, my kind of development. Um, I think second to that, the team that we've got now has just it's been great. You know, we've, we've a, a really good kind of atmosphere going into the office. Um, everybody's kind of along the, the same kind of goals and uh, really the, the, the whole idea is just improvement. I think that goes for instructors, for students, for the school, for uh, people's kind of experience of the place and uh, yeah, so those the three biggest are definitely Butch, Claude and, and JP for sure. So definitely, we were watching the, uh, the Butch Harmon and Claude Harmon interview yesterday, it was absolutely brilliant now. Some of the oh. They're uh, the top class when they get together for sure. Yeah. And as to you, you've obviously you know Pete Cowan very well. You must have learned a lot of things uh, through him over the years. We got any other yeah. um, people you'd like to mention? Yeah, I mean Pete would obviously be the biggest influence there. Uh, having to having been able to get experience with Pete for a lot of years. Um, he's 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 very hands on as well. He's he's, he's over here a lot of the time probably I would say he comes over to Dubai you know, six weeks a year in a round and he's probably going to do a little bit more than that uh, going forward and um, he's obviously worked with some of the world's best ball strikers so we get to stand in, in with him and watch him teach him some of the world's best players um, he's obviously magical I mean I'm, I'm big into short game and stuff like that so he's, he's, he's magic to watch around the greens and to, to, to really beat off and and listen to you and, and develop your, your your skills from um but yeah i mean uh, yeah it's uh, Pete, pete's a big one uh, for sure and uh, working with there's other guys like uh, ryan momston who's a big band mechanics expert um he comes over he does all the 3d measurement he did all pete stuff before he worked alongside uh ramsey mcmaster which was um he's a, a massive influence over the sort of the, the fitness and golf uh, movements and mechanism for, for golf. So, um, yeah, Rams McMaster's had a massive influence globally, and and uh, to feed off his sort of right hand man has, has been really influential. And then, as I say, like, like Jamie, that our, our team has been fantastic over the years. I've worked with Steve for, I mean, Steve and I've worked together for pretty much a combination of 24, 25 years, and uh, yeah, it's been. Uh, Really, really good um, feeding off each other and, and, and sort of developing our skills together. And yeah, growing, growing, growing grow a really good. Uh, Steve will talk a bit more about it with the elite program and, and things like that. But uh, yeah, it was fantastic, fantastic place to learn and uh, yeah, enjoying every minute of it. And I, I want to keep growing with it as well. So good stuff. My, who, who do you learn most off over here in all the different clubs you work for? Uh, well, I'll, t I'll talk a bit about um, some of the guys that are in the team in a sec, but uh, I think my two good interactions I've had a lot with uh, Monty over the years. Um, he's I worked at his club in Bahrain uh, before I moved to Abu Dhabi from 2008, opened the golf club, um, so spent quite a bit of time with him there. And then he comes in at least twice a year to the Monty. He stays in the hotel, still gets uh, free nights. <laughs> his name's above the door. 
Um, and he's he's a he's a brilliant guy, absolutely brilliant. I mean, if, if there's any um, misconceptions about him being a bit grumpy or whatever, I mean, he certainly might have been on the golf course from time to time. But uh, the time he's got for us with the kids at the golf club, um, stories he's got, and you know, just general advice is always first class. I find he's quite he's quite a funny guy with it as well. Um, Gary Player used to drop in to Sadia and. Um, was very very entertaining and I'm sure you've all probably seen a bit of Gary and around the clubs he, he's would come into a lesson and barge me out the way and then start teaching the guy a regular punter start drawing on his glove and stuff uh, so he was like a whirlwind when he came to crew um, so those two guys definitely great time around on the, the teaching team and, um, and then just the rest of the team are brilliant and the thing that strikes me is just how international it's been for me over the time and work with guys from Australia Korea US, obviously all over Europe, a lot of the UK. A um, lot of good guys, gone on to good things. Jeff Lound is in Chicago, he's an Australian, lives in Chicago and he works with the golf robot now, uh, as well as doing his regular job. So he's he goes to the golf show every year and uh, he's, he's got a really robotic looking swing. Maybe he's been on the robot quite a bit, but <laughs> yeah, good guy. Uh, Stevie, going on to you, we obviously have some, some of the same people as AB, but yeah, it's similar to AB. Obviously, Scotty, so obviously, uh, Pete Kyle has been fantastic with, with us over, over the years. You know, uh, I've known Pete for probably 12 years now. And obviously, we're, we're very fortunate in the UAE to have so many big tournaments. We've obviously got the Race to Dubai, we've got the HSBC down in Abu Dhabi, obviously, we've got the Desert Classic at Emirates Golf Club. So, it's been quite cool for us to actually get up and close and personal, I suppose, with, with the guys on the range and, and just watching what Pete does hands-on and, you know, learning his drills and his methods and particularly all the short game stuff, like Alistair was saying, it's been fantastic over the years. Um, obviously, talk about the team as well, like, like Jamie was saying, I think, you know, we've got a, a nice team and, you know, everybody works with that common goal for, for, for kind of constant improvement. And it's, it's a nice atmosphere and it's, it's a nice place to be. And, you know, it's certainly a place I, I would love to stay for, for, for another 10 years or, or maybe longer. Um, and obviously, Dubai, there's always developments. It's, it's great to see, you know, the improvements in the facilities year in and year out. I, th I think we're, we're certainly, in terms of, Global, you know, the facilities we have here are fantastic. You know, I travel a little bit, you know, in the summer, I maybe go to Europe or go over to the States. And, you know, we, we certainly are ahead of the game, really, in terms of the facilities we have. And that obviously helps us develop ourselves. So, you know, a great place. We obviously, you know, maybe going off golf coaching a little bit. I've, I've had some very good kind of managers, you know, club managers like uh, Andrew Whitelaw, who he's now over. Fort Marnock as, as the club manager there, he's been, he was fantastic for me, you know, he employed me back in uh, 2008, uh, I think he also employed Alistair, so he was great, he, he kind of showed me how to, how to lead a team, and which, which is a big part of it, um, and also how the golf operations side of the business works, so we've certainly met a lot of cool characters over the years, which, which has helped us develop. Yeah, and if you, uh, if you go up to Wallain, to the golf club, you'll see big pictures of Fraser everywhere. He's actually got his top of these ones. He is the man of Wallain. <laughs> you must have some stories about that. And, uh, I think I'm the most famous golfer that's ever been in Wallain, so it's <laughs> I don't have any great stories for you, to be honest. Um, I mean, since coming to the UE, we were, were very lucky. Something I always, and I stopped playing a few years ago, by the odd game with the members. What I've done since then is I've always had a golf lesson or two a year to see who's doing what. And it's just the PGA pros, like the guys here, Alistair, that are looking at the four, so is Martin. Um, recently went to Joe Marshall for a lesson um, at your place, Jamie. Fantastic experience. Uh, was at JP a couple of times. I was going for lessons then not playing golf for six months after, but just to see what the guys are doing and how they present it, how they package it. Um, we have a lot of golfers come through there. We have Nick Faldo actually, he's been there the last three years for the, the Faldo series final. We have the regional qualifier on the final. So 
what you were talking about with Monty Martin gets a wee bit of a bad stigma, but when he's actually there, although it's maybe a little bit um, of a struggle for him socially, when he actually gets an environment, when there's children there, members, and he starts getting into his bit, it's fantastic. But when you talk about coaching, how technically things have got with trackmans and all these different, uh, all the different technologies, it is essential for a good coach. But what amazed me about Faldo was when he was doing his clinic, for being known as one of the most technical guys ever, it's so simple the way he explains it and what he does. So though he was kind of technical, the way he explains it, everything was just very matter of fact. Weight transference, uh, rotation, club face control, it was all very, very simple. But for buying the kind of big stars, it's more been you guys that I feel that I've uh, learned from since I came here. Fantastic. There's, there's no doubt that the coaching scene and the quality is uh, second to none in the UAE. And um, hopefully, love may that continue. Thank you all for joining us today on Armchair yeah. Team. He's got some good stuff. And uh, hopefully, we'll have another series in the next week or so. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Thank you.